that it, I said that it's similar to polytheism. Yes. I said, I said that it came wow. from... Wow, wow, the Trinity's polytheistic. They shot her. They I said it came from... Let mind. us make I man in our mind. image. Yep. Is that polytheism See, too? That's right. I'm freaking believable. Did you had her in Josh Hall last night at some barbecue or something? I was not. You're going around telling everybody about Babylon. You're telling everybody oh, about I'm your not. oneness Pentecostal crap. You suck as an employee. You have sucked the whole time you've worked here. You go around singing your own praises. I have been this close to firing you every month. The only reason I kept you around is because I don't want to rock the boat. You're leaving anyway. You know, if I had to work with you for the rest of my life, I would have fired you a long time ago. You are lazy. You suck. You've never done anything that I told you to do beyond the minimum. You understand? I don't believe in it. You and just you say, hey, I don't want to talk about that, like you promised me that you would. You told me, you little liar, that when people came to you and asked you about it, you said, hey, I don't want to talk I about that. that I did that multiple times. That is the truth. I did yeah, but now I guess times. you're all high and mighty now because you think you're leaving. You can do whatever the hell you want because you're leaving in a month and a half. You think you can just suck as an employee. You don't do anything I tell you to do. You do nothing. What the hell did you do for 50 hours last week? I did you a did bad, nothing, I, lazy I, jerk. I agree that I've done a lot worse since Yeah, you suck. You suck. No, you sucked from the beginning. You always suck. That means these fellows on television, these hideous talk shows, now I, I don't watch them myself, I just go to visit Dr. Billings occasionally, and they're always on his house, and, uh, but I go, and, uh, and, I, and these idiots, these long-haired, stinking beatniks, these fellows this, the dedicated to destroying America, singing their rock and their jerky music and their hippie music and their communist music and their dope music and their narcotic music, all of it is nothing in the world but an effort by Soviet Russia to destroy America and our way of life. Somebody take the fellow out who said that. I don't like it, and I don't plan to lump it, and you'll answer to God for that. Don't be surprised. I, I don't, all of you don't go. Listen, one of our teenage boys can take care of that little fellow. Paxton, one of our girls. Don't everybody leave. Don't feel bad. I've never preached this sermon yet, what poor folks didn't get up and walk out. I, last time I preached it, I had seven walk out. My goal is eight tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. What you just saw is a perfect picture of why we need this kind of preaching. This is First Baptist Church of Hammond, Indiana. This is one of the greatest churches in all the world. And right here in our pews on a Sunday night, some idiot can get up and holler and scream, if you don't like it, you can lump it. I don't like it, I don't plan to lump it. I plan to fight as long as I can. 
And I want you preachers to get enough courage to go back home and do the same. Now, one reason I'm preaching on this tonight is to put some grit in the cross. Some of you pussyfoot and compromise and ear tickling, back scratching, penny pinching, nickel nipping, pink tea and lemonade preachers, or you'll go home and cut loose and let it rip. <laughs> 